If you want to take your web development knowledge to the next level, to a senior level, then you should definitely check out these four awesome blogs. The first one is from Josh W. Camo and his blog is just amazing. Not only does it cover the basics in a very clear way, but it also includes some really good interactive guides that really helps you understand stuff in a very intuitive way. And in addition to normal web development, it also includes some really good guides on React. You should definitely check out his blog on React Server Components. It's the blog that really made me understand this concept and also why React re-renders Anyone that works with React should read this at least once. Next on the list, we have Dominic Dovmeister's blog, also known as TK Dodo. And this one is really good if you are working with React Query. There's a collection of blog posts about React Query, and it takes you from the basics and goes into some really advanced stuff. Honestly, I'm really surprised that this is free because the knowledge here is just invaluable. And I also really enjoyed reading his blog post about memoization. This is a very controversial topic in React and this one really settles the debate. Definitely worth checking out if you're working with React and especially with React Query. Then we have Anthony Fu's blog. Anthony describes himself as a fanatical open sourcer and I think that's a really good description. This guy has created and maintained some libraries that we are using on a daily basis like Vtest, Vue Use, Uno CSS, Vue, Vite, and Shiki Jazz. His blog posts are actually very diversified in the topics, but still really interesting to read. I really liked his take on semantic versioning, and it also was really satisfying to read how he implemented this magic move inside Shiki Jazz. Go check it out, it's full of gems. Last but not least, we have the front end joy. This blog I wish I started reading earlier. It has a really good article called seven critical pitfalls new developers must avoid in their first weeks. And it's just a bunch of advice I wish I knew when I was just getting started. For example, that you should not give strong opinions about things you don't fully understand yet or trying to figure everything out yourself. And just some really good advice for someone who is just starting out as a developer. He also has a really cool article called 101 React tips and tricks for beginners to experts. And this one is also just really cool, small tips. You can just apply to your own code and just take it to the next level. So go check them out. I'm going to put a link to all of them in the description below. And please let me know in the comments if you also enjoyed reading them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.